because guess what? If you guys are still looking for a gift, what about the gift of mindfulness? I love this concept. So our next live guest is standing by. We all know her well. Nicole uh, Nicole Walters of Aha of Aha Collective is joining us. She's helping to bring our loved ones some inner peace heading into the new year. So she's going to tell us all about it now. So you may recall her yoga studios in Greensboro, which is a nonprofit yoga studio making yoga and meditation accessible for everyone, no matter where they are in their journey. Nicole, great to see you on our Monday. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So tell us first, let's start with like a good gift for maybe someone who is a regular yogi, you know, they do yoga all the time, or if someone is just kind of starting off with yoga and meditation, what would you recommend? So um, a couple of things, you can go on my website. I have tons of different options for class packs. You can get gift cards. Um, I even have an online studio. That's a great way for someone to ease into a practice at home, get a little more comfortable, and then make their journey into the community. Oh, great. So just visit your website and they can find it mm -hmm. on there. Okay. Yep. So next, what gifts can actually enhance someone's meditation and mindfulness if they're trying to begin this new practice what would be a great gift for someone so there's several options one again you can find these on um, my website as well we talked about them on the show one morning but the mala beads are really lovely right. gifts for holidays um, and we have different um, variations and different beads and the meaning and concept behind each one is descriptive on the website as well but these are just really lovely Spiritual accessories is what I call that just make great gifts any time of the year. Great. And then, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, sorry. <laughs> I just was, um, I wanted you, but you kind of already talked about to remind us what mala beads are. Yes. Yeah, so they're, they're the meditation beads that we can use to guide us in connecting to a mantra, perhaps where we set still and we can count the beads one by one, or right. you can just simply, you know, take a breath per bead. And that just gives you a good accessory to use during your meditation. And it's also really pretty to just wear as a necklace too. <laughs> they are pretty. And then you had something else um, for folks that can help with reflection and affirmation. Is that right? Yes. So a few other things that I really like is you can even buy these in sets. So these are like affirmation card decks and they can even come a lot of times with a journal to accompany them. So it's like a guided daily journal just to kind of help you stay on your um, journey through self-reflection. And then the affirmation cards are really great because it gives you different quotes. And I really love this stack. It's called Soul Truth by Breon Hovey. Um, they're really affordable. You can just Google them, um, find them online, but they have great quotes and they even have little daily actions that you can take. Another thing that's really great are little like daily um, motivation or meditation books. So like my daughter actually picked this one out and it's just called do one thing every day that makes you happy. And so each day you open it and it just gives you just a little way to start your day and a little, um, a journal to kind of keep up with gratitude, different things like that. And then um, finally, another thing that I really love are these mindful um, coloring books. I know they kind of took off really popular some years ago, but they're just a really great way to just incorporate uh, stress reduction, anxiety decreasing, and it creates a calming atmosphere. I personally think these are really great. I worked in the corporate world for about 10 years, and I always kept one of these at my desk because it was just a great way to just take a little break, have a cup of tea, and just center myself for any projects I had ahead of me. I love those coloring books. And tell your daughter that I also love the do, do one thing that makes you happy. I've, all, I've seen that quote all around too, and I think that's an awesome reminder. These were great ideas. Thank you so much, Nicole, and we will see you again next Monday. And like she mentioned, please visit her website. It's on our screen right now to find more information information about those mindful gifts and reflections and learn how to take your first class at her studio ahava-collective.com